All right, welcome guys to a new video on how to create a bootable USB stick. All right, so get right into it. First, what you want to do is open up your web browser and go to this, which will be uh, linked in the description. Um, and this is a program which you can use to create bootable USB sticks and stuff like that. So you want to scroll down to the download section and download whatever version you want. I'm going to download the latest portable version and save it to my desktop. And then this is the point where you're going to want to get your memory stick, uh, plug it into your computer, um, and then you want to go back onto Rufus, double click on it, hit yes. Choose if you want to get updates or not, I'm going to choose no. And you'll see your memory stick come up on the device list. Uh, so select the one you want to use on there. Choose your partition scheme, I recommend leaving it default. File system, again, recommend leaving it default. Cluster size, uh, recommend leaving it on default. Might not be uh, 8192 bytes for you, might be a different number. Volume label, you can leave that because that's going to get changed in a minute. And then you want to come down here to where it says create bootable disk using FreeDOS, change that to ISO image, click this button here, and then choose the image you want to use. For example, I'm going to use this uh, Debian 8.6 net install image, double click so I load it up, and it will change the volume label for you, and it's simply a case of hitting start. Just a warning, if you have anything on this memory stick, it will completely wipe the entire thing, so make sure if there's anything important on there, you have a backup. And once you've done that, you can hit start, yes, and then when it says write in ISO or DD mode, you want to keep it on ISO and hit OK. OK again, and wait for it to complete. And after it finishes, it's just a case of pressing close and you're done. You can now uh, reboot your computer and boot from your USB device like you would with a hard drive or CD or DVD uh, or anything like that. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.